Morning Trainiacs. We are in the meat of prep for Half Iron Man Worlds in South Africa. It is a grand total of three weeks away to the day. That means today is gonna be big. And I'm well aware that I am wearing a aero helmet with a road bike. We're gonna talk about common triathlete faux pas such as that right after this. Goodness, whoa, holy. That was, uh, that was serious. That was 113K, just under 70 miles in three and a half hours, but the main work of it was three times through, 30 minutes, low cadence, just under race pace, 10 minutes, higher cadence, like race cadence, at or above race pace. And it's 30, plus degrees Celsius, feels like 40 something, like 90 Fahrenheit, feels like 110. And the wind, the wind, oh! So the reason that I wore the full on aero helmet with the road bike is because on these long rides by myself, I enjoy listening to podcasts. And this here, Laser Wasp Air TT, dead silent. Love it for that. But showing up to a road ride or riding a road bike with a full on aero helmet, huge waving a flag like I am a triathlete, everyone. What you should be wearing to any road ride is typically just something more like the laser road helmet. You're gonna look like you fit in. You don't need all of that aerodynamics from a time trial helmet because a lot of the aerodynamics is taken care of by the Peloton. But if you wanna be nice and aerodynamic but still look pretty good and be fairly aero, you go with an aero road helmet like the laser bullet here. And this gets a huge amount of the aerodynamic benefits of something like this but you're not gonna just scream triathlete and a lot of road riders are gonna be wearing something like this. So if you can only get one helmet, make it an aero road. I'm riding laser at the moment, laser bullet. Look at this, you can also go like this. Nice and breezy, super aero. All right, I gotta go do this brick run. Something about that in a second. Wow. I know I say that every time, but this is for real. A run in the heat, not my idea of a good time. No, that was 7K and 422 per kilometer, so about 4.3 miles in 647 per mile average pace. That's, uh, that's solidly above target race pace. In the heat, I'll Take it. All right, so next thing. When you're in a running group, show up with some socks, but I'm not talking about going out for coffee with these little babies. No, no, these are not made for a night on the town, just gathering with your local running group for a coffee, perhaps a scone if you wanna live large. Mm -mm. Just going out in these day to day, it screams triathlete. Use them for maybe flying, maybe a little bit of recovery after a workout, maybe during the run, maybe you're just advertising that you're a triathlete. We're proud triathletes, but you wanna look cool. Also, bare feet for running groups. Mm -mm -mm -mm. At minimum, nice little socket for extra cool points. Mid calf height sock for extra, extra cool points. Get them from Scotty. While we're down here, if you're a triathlete and all you can afford is one pair of cycling shoes, get yourself a pair of triathlon shoes. However, no socks. 
Turn in your card as an athlete. Basically, you are out of sports for life. Essentially, you're Lance Armstrong. Wear socks. All times. Just, just do yourself a favor, listen to me on this one. Next and final thing, if you're a triathlete going to join cycling or running groups, don't ruin your perfectly clean front end by slapping on one of these. No. Sure, if you're gonna show up to a road ride with your tri bike, as long as you stay out of the way and you've got good group road riding manners, for which I will link to at the end of the video, all fine and dandy, but don't be drinking out of that. Again, flag. I'm a triathlete and don't know what I'm doing with these new friends of mine. Fit in. Now you know what is perfectly cool being a triathlete? Swimming with swimmers, biking with cyclists, and running with runners. Like, it's all just endurance sports. I'm just kind of goofing around here and I know that when people are starting into triathlon it's intimidating to go and join up with all these new groups and new friends that have been doing it for years and have all the gear and if we feel a little bit better about ourselves and we feel like we fit in we're probably going to go and do it a little bit more so a little bit of joking, a little bit of seriousness have fun, and you know what's totally cool? Is subscribing to Triathlon Terran. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below, and if you are subscribed, you, you are like mid-length socks to me. <sighs> Love me some mid-length socks. I started out hating mid-length socks, now I can't get enough. Later, Trainiacs.